How you doing guys? My Gaming Addiction is back and today uh, I'm going to be showing you a little video that I made about the Philips CDI 2220. Uh, on my unboxing video I said, uh, read the description for all of you that saw that, I said I had some uh, problems with uh, the um, the CD tray ejecting, was having, uh, it wasn't ejecting right, it would eject to about like here and then it would pop right back in and uh, it wasn't ejecting properly. So. I started looking around and I thought to myself, well, what can I do? And I, or immediately I just thought it has to be the elastic because, and here's the elastic right here. Uh, it started losing its elasticity and no longer became tight. So I had a bunch of elastics that I bought from the dollar store. And um, I basically, um, let me see if I can show it to you here. Let's see here, if I can get a good angle. If you guys can see that, let me just shine a little light right there and there's a new elastic that I put in um, it, it's not too big but it's not too small it's very tight and uh, that actually seemed to be fixing up my uh, CD uh, my CD jamming problems uh, very 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 good um, one of the, the problems I also had when I took this apart is the plastic uh, the plastic for this system uh, over the years it's kind of like a Nintendo uh, Super Nintendo system uh, you know how it turns you know like that color and it, it becomes braille and it breaks um, when I took the cover off this cover right here um, this piece right here as you can see if, I, if I'm you know pushing it in this stays sturdy but I all of a sudden I heard a snap I'm like what the fuck is that and I looked around and I started pushing this in and it, as you can see there's there's a little bit of movement in there but all of a sudden, I could literally take this part and move it outwards like this. I'm like, shit. So what I did is I just grabbed some super glue. You again bought this from the dollar store, so it works. And I put some drops in it, and I just let it for about an hour. I just let it there, and it, it's it's pretty sturdy now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hook this up. Oh, and uh, by the way, in order in order I forgot to mention um in order for you guys to um. Uh, to remove this CD drive, uh, what I did, well, what I, what I, what you should do, technically, is there's one screw right here that's a Torx T8, one screw here, also Torx T8, and two screws here, here, and here that is also Torx T8. Um, unfortunately, I, I, I couldn't remove these two screws. My, my. Uh, uh, my Torx T8 screwdriver won't fit in there. Um, so what I did instead is I, I removed the front panel part of it. You can see it's you know still shaky um, because the, the the Torx T8 screws aren't in it. And I, I pulled this front end off, and I have small fingers. So what I did is I removed the elastic, and uh, I put the new elastic in, and it seems to be uh, working fine. So I'm just going to show you guys um, if I can with one arm because this fucking thing's heavy. You just hook. Just, Keep this here like so. Hook it up real quick. Okay. I don't, I'm not going to show you guys the the screen. I'm just going to show you how it powers on and uh, that it it's on jam now and. Uh, push open and it opens and it closes perfect that's all I had to, to ask um, that that's basically a, a five dollar not even a five dollar repair it's like a two dollar repair and uh, it, it just works magic and it works perfect um, just to give you guys a heads up too um, if you bought one of these systems uh, on eBay or if you're thinking about buying one of these systems on eBay first of all make sure the guy that sells it to you is a, rep a reputable seller um, the guy that sold it to me was a reputable seller he sold a lot of things on eBay but according to him this system worked fla flawlessly had no problems well uh, well they did have problems the fucking CD tray wasn't ejecting right and one of my controllers uh, that I bought still doesn't work. It, it, I tried everything. I mean, this one works. I bought that one at a, at a thrift store for two bucks and I hooked that up and it worked perfect, no problems. So, um, you know, make sure the reputable sellers, make sure that the systems work. Uh, he did offer me a refund. He basically said, you know what, I can, I can, you can bring this back to me in the United States and I can give you money, your money back minus the shipping, but that you know the shipping is going to cost me like 30 or 40 bucks and I bought this system for 200 so I'm, I'm losing out you know I'm, gonna, I'm only going to be getting back 160 bucks so I said fuck that but then he turns around and says well I'll give you a 10% discount and I said I guess I'll take that it's better than nothing 
Um, just one more thing before I have to say to you guys before I go. If if you buy one of these systems and you have no power in it whatsoever, this little fuse right here, right there, is usually the cul uh, the culprit. Very easy fix. Just go to the hardware store and get one, and that's it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.